Welcome back. Well, here's something you might want for your Super Bowl party this year. Hormel unveiled its chili cheese keg and fans mm, have a chance oh to gosh. win it. <laughs> the company says this is a fully functioning half barrel keg that can hold up to 15 gallons of dip. There you go. Oh, mm. The keg <laughs> features a tap handle shaped like a chili can, a pump to pour out the dip and <laughs> an adjustable internal heating element to keep the dip from getting cold. Look at those people. <laughs> They're in awe. They, they are. are so excited for this. It's also the game. refillable. Ooh, there and you go. there's a sweepstakes page set up at uh, hormelchilicheesecake.com where people can this. enter to win it. You have until February 6th. So you better get cracking on this. Do you see what it says at the bottom of the fine print? <laughs> you there's get, the website. It's over right there. A, a, over 1,000 servings there you of go. Hormel chili, chili yeah. cheese keg And they will even deliver it to your home oh, on Super Bowl Sunday yeah. if you win. So well, There you yeah. go. You'll Good deliver after you eat luck. all that, too. That's, that that'd be awesome. <gasps> you know, if, if, if your birthday happens to be on the Super Bowl, you can maybe fill it with chocolate and put ice cream and cake and stuff. Hmm, so. Somebody's having a birthday. Who could it be? I don't know. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. That's going to be cheesy. I get to share my birthday with the Super Bowl this there year. That's so. happened to me before, too. Really? Yeah. Well, okay. Dylan's birthday was day before yesterday. So. Yeah, it was this past uh, Sunday. He turned 30. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then we're going to be celebrating on February the 13th with our little Valentine, our little cutie pie, Emma Benson with a Hormel cheese keg. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Uh, be careful with that. Do not put craft singles in your britches and put them in the washing machine by accident. That would be bad. Okay, this happened with a child of mine. She was hiding cheese in her pants. I do remember this. Uh, when, you know, with a little craft of singles, you just put oh. it in a pocket. Check pockets before you do the wash. What did you accidentally put in the washer? 534-9957, that is our Hollaback line. Do you have something incredibly awful that <laughs> you put in the wash? I find money all the time. I put a check accidentally in the Ooh. wash, and oh. that was not good. Or how, much, how much was it for? We, I don't remember, but... This is what everybody wants to know. It ain't about yeah. check. It's about how much money does Dylan and Carter make. <laughs> so, not yeah, much. cash no. definitely, coins definitely go a, through the a, wash at times. I had a pen in my pocket that exploded in the Ooh. washing machine, which caused quite the mess. That wasn't good either. Uh, Emma, have you ever, I mean, you're good at doing laundry and stuff. I'm pretty good at it too, except when I leave a turmeric pill in my shirt pocket and it explodes. Oh, oh that's not everywhere. good. I'll show you a picture of that on Facebook when I get home. Uh, what did you do in the laundry by accident? Yeah, mainly just, uh, I've, I found some cash in the in the laundry. Well, that's laundering but, money. But that's trying, illegal. <laughs> yes. I I've uh, I've learned to be better at checking, checking all the pockets pocket. before yeah. I put yes. my laundry in. It's when you get kids. I'm telling you, they'll sneak stuff in there. A lady called me this morning, told me she put uh, frogs uh, in the washing machine. Mm. Excuse me. It, yeah, kid had frogs in the pocket. Oh, there you and go. Then it, yeah, and uh, they were in the in the laundry. Right. Sorry, I'm we'll sorry. Look, we'll look forward to hearing more of it your tastes answers tomorrow. Tastes like chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Coming up. At